Welcome to the Swing Trader channel. I'm Jeff Hansen, and today we're gonna to be talking about two swing trades that I've been looking at. I've been looking at a whole mess of stocks, and these are the two stocks that I came out of right now. But if you guys have any other stocks that you want me to look at for a swing trade, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below, and I'll go ahead and I'll take a look at them. And just to put a disclaimer out there, these trades could go south, okay? These swing trades could go south. Put that in your head. You need to know how much you are willing to lose if you get into these trades. What is going to be your stop? Do you know what your stop is? If you don't know what your stop is, don't even bother making a trade on these trades. And for those of you out there that have really bad allergies right now, I know allergies are horrendously bad. I got a new way to get rid of them. <laughs> uh, feel like, feels like I'm underwater. Uh. So if you out there are new to my channel and you like this kind of content to do with stocks, swing trades, day trades, all that good stuff, anything to do with the stock market, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and like this video and let's get right into these two swing trades that I found this week so far. Not to mention, I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Keep washing those hands, keep them clean. You know, stay away from this virus. You don't want to get sick. This thing is going to be over eventually here. So let's get right into the swing trade here. AMRN is a ticker symbol for the swing trade. I just spit all over my screen. That's why you have to wear a mask. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and talk about this huge elephant in the room, this big old red candlestick right here. What in the God's name made this thing go down this much? Before we get into the news of why the stock sold off, one thing that you always have to keep in mind, the company has bad news more or less the time the stock is going to way overreact. So what normally happens when the market overreacts, it kind of tends to correct itself. And that's what we see right here happening with AMRN. It is starting to correct itself from the overreaction of what happened with the news. And before the big sell-off, this stock was trading at right around $13.69. And I'm checking the percentages here. That's about a 71% drop. That's a massive drop. So the bad news that happened here on AMRN, Nevada judge ruled against the company in favor of two genetic drugs. So to put it in layman's terms, they lost a patent. That's basically why the stock dropped down 70%. There's a lot of overreaction with court cases and stuff like that. Just in general, you know how the market reacts to this stuff. Just imagine if they won this case, this stock could have ran up 50 to 60, maybe even 70% as well. So this is one of the plays that I like here is when a stock is gradually grinding and just grinding up. I have a feeling that it's been consolidating here for a little bit. And the stock is basically trying to correct itself from this huge, massive sell off that it had here on I think this was Monday and what I'm looking at right now the stock has ran up see pretty much just about 21 percent in two days but what I like it's been consolidating here and, and that means pressure starting to build up on the stock right now and it and it's going to want to choose a direction here pretty soon but we have resistance here at six dollars and twenty cents that it's been bouncing off of and then we have support down here at about $5.90, which has been holding so far. I'm looking to get in this stock tomorrow, which is Monday. I have a really good feeling that we're going to see it break this resistance here at $6.20. And the reason why I'm saying that is they just put out news that they're going to have a PR on April 13th, which is tomorrow. And this is going to happen after the stock market has already closed. But my plan is to get in the stock for the anticipation of this PR. I think the stock is going to run up going into this PR. And my guess is the company does not want to put out any bad news so they're they're probably not going to put anything bad out there they're going to want to have good news who knows maybe they'll throw something in with coronavirus just to do it just to get the stock to run up even though i from what i've seen they have done nothing with coronavirus and what i plan on doing is buying a chunk of this tomorrow looking for the run-up going into this pr and then i'm going to go ahead and sell some of my profits and i'm going to keep some shares on hand during this pr just to see if anything good comes out of it because if something good does come out of this pr we could see a nice 20 percent to 30 percent gain from this stock not to mention i would like to see it fill this gap from this big gap down that it just had but i can definitely see the stock running up to about ten dollars right where i have resistance at here i like milk before i go to bed all right, another stock that I'm looking at for a swing trade is TRTX, and I'm not looking to get in this stock yet. I'm just going to wait and see what happens because right now we're right at resistance here at $6 and about 93 cents, I would say. But this is another one where I'm looking at to fill this all these gaps right here. This stock eventually has to fill all these gaps all the way up to, see, $19. And right now we're at $6. So I'm looking for it to break the $6.90 resistance right here. And if we can break 
like that and break out of this $8 resistance, we could see a pretty good run out of the stock. And on Thursday, you can see it was definitely just, you know, consolidating basically going back and forth. But come Monday, I'm looking for it to break this. And if we do break it, I'm going to hop in and look for the stock to run. So those are my two swing trades that I'm looking at to get into next week. So if you guys have any stocks out there that you want me to take a look at, go ahead and put them in the comment section down below for me. So if you're new to my channel and you like the content that I'm putting out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and like this video, give it a thumbs up or whatever it is. And let's make some money. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, oh it's working though. Oh God, this feels so weird. Oh, okay. Oh. And let's make some money, everybody.